Hello, Katherine. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Okay, just let's give a minute for the other participants, okay? One minute. Okay. We begin. Welcome, Juan Alfonso. Good evening. Welcome, teacher. Good evening. And where are you today? Fine. Fine. Okay. Sí. Yes. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Okay. Thank, so, thank you, teacher. Let's begin with the class. Luis and Victor, welcome. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's start with the with the review of the class of yesterday, right? Let me share my screen. Okay, to begin, we're going to start uh, making a review of the video, top eight things people hate to do, right? Things that you don't like to do, things that you hate, right? So let's watch the video again. Vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, Open the mail. So repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Stand in line. Do laundry. Travel to work. Go to meetings. Exercise. Work in the yard. Clean the house. Open the mail. Okay, so we have these activities that people hate to do. And we're going to uh, read the commentaries. Uh, Alicia Machado, right? Um, Alicia Maria, Colorado, sorry. I have to watch the post every day, is it, right? Or well, in this case, uh -huh. He has to do it, right? I hate it. He says. Uh -huh. I don't have. I don't have to do exercise every day. Every day only this, right? Okay. Then we have. Uh, I have to travel. I have to travel to work every week. He says. I hate. It. So in the case of these commentaries, you can say that. Uh, we have to eliminate go here, right? So you have to say, I have to travel and every day only. Uh, Nelly Avendaño, Nelly, right? I have to iron, right? 
it's not necessary to say do, only I have to iron my clothes two times a week. I hate it. Mm -hmm. I have to clean. Let me see. I have to clean the house every day. I hate it. I don't have to bath the dog. Mm, okay. Bath in this case is bañar a los perritos, right? Bañar a pirulais. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have another commentary here. I have to do the dishes every day. I have to iron the clothes. Okay. Just, just give me a second. Uh, okay. Sorry, I have made a mistake here. Okay. Sorry in the commentary. Right? And then we have um, Suli says, no, I don't know what is in the room. I don't stand in line bank. I don't have laundry. Well, in this case, I don't have, I don't, I don't want to stand, or I don't have, uh -huh. I don't have to stand in line in the bank, right? I don't have to do the laundry. I have to cook. I have to go to meetings. I don't have to work in the yard. So just little correction. Solo estamos haciendo unas pequeñas correcciones, right? Alicia, welcome. Uh, I was reading your, your commentaries. Uh, just this little mistake, Alicia, that it says every day, but it's every day, right? Every day, that's it. And I have to, to go travel. No, I have to travel only. So you have to eliminate the go. Elimination of the go only, right? Okay, let me see anybody else. Um, Carolina. Carolina de Angulo, right? So listen, I have to clean the house every day. I'm sorry, Carolina. I hate it, she said, right? I don't have to open the mail. I have to wash the dishes. I hate it. Okay. Good example, right? Abel, examples of Abel, right? I hate going to the supermarket, especially when it's crowded. Yes. I hate washing my car. You can say I hate washing or I hate to wash my car. The two sentences are correct. The two sentences are correct, right? Because it was, I and and end up very tired, okay, that's right. Now, Vicky says, clean the house, stand in line, do laundry. Okay, so, I hate to do the laundry. I hate, I hate to stand, to stand in line, right? Aquí le faltó la T. But I have to do it. Mm -hmm. Roxy, Rolando Campos, okay, good. I don't like standing in line at the bank. That's okay. I do not like to travel to my work in public transportation. I imagine, Rolando, you wanted to copy transportation, right? Okay. That's it. Good commentaries. Thank you very much for your commentaries. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with the review, right? There is a microphone on. Por ahí escucho un micrófono encendido, por favor, please. Okay, please, let's continue now. Simple past statement with regular verb, right? Regular verbs. Review this. Let's review this part. A movie. Now it's your turn to simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? 
I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing. All day. Oh. Okay, so let's practice the conversation. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. Busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. Tired. I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Did laundry and chopped. And then I visited my parents. Visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Test. Studied. I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I didn't study. I just watched. I just watched television all weekend. Good. Now, listen and repeat. Straight how this day, topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation listen titled, repeat, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Come on, repeat. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all week weekend. Okay, two volunteers to practice the conversation. I need one Michael and I need one Jennifer, right? Volunteers? Hello, volunteers? Participation? Help me, please. Yeah, teacher. Okay, thank you, Alonso. You are Michael, so I need a Jennifer, a girl. I need a, a girl. Yeah, okay. teacher. Okay, Ana Carolina. Yes. yes, okay, Ana Carolina, you are Jennifer, right? Okay. One, two, three. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. 
in my room with, and I came with laundry and chop, and then I visited my parents. So, what did you? So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no! Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with the video. Let's get started by practicing these statements. And remember, we were working in the class of yesterday with the simple pass of regular verbs. Simple pass of regular verbs. Now we're going to see uh, affirmative statements and negative statements, right? Here we go. In the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W A T C H E D. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense. And we can do this by simply adding ED. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ED. On a different class, We'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. 
Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense. Study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense. Watch. Finally, we will add the complement a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise. On Monday, my friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. Okay, now let's read the commentaries. Let's read the commentary, right? Alicia Maria Colorado. Congratulations, Alicia. I always see your your commentary. That's nice. My brother didn't go to study on Friday, right? Didn't go. Uh huh. And remember, uh, Alicia, that Friday is with capital letter, right? Capital letter, right? And then he stayed at home. Um, well, you have to add the ed, right? He stayed ed, right, at home. Mm -hmm. She exercised on Thursday. Again, Alicia, the sentence is perfect, it's good, it's excellent. But don't forget the names of the uh, days of the week. They use uh, the capital letter, right? She didn't watch television on Thursday, right? Again, right? Capital letter. And, but the sentence is perfect, it's nice. And that's the correct way to say affirmative and negative, right? Nanelia Vendaño, my sister didn't exercise on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Again, right, for Nelly, Sunday is with capital letter, right? Creo que no está Nelly con nosotros tampoco, solo he estado como dos clases, pero ahí está participando en, el, en la plataforma. Congratulations to Nelly, right? My brother studied the last weekend. I didn't cook noodles. Well, only the period, solo un puntito le faltó acá. Again, right? Peter, right? Que usar puntito nada más. My friend watched television on Monday in capital letter for the days of the, of the week, right? Past tense. Uh, I don't know who is this person, but if we're going to read. Listen. Um, we'll maximize this a little bit. Okay, yes. I cleaned my house. Well, house is H O, right? My daughter. Well, this is took. It's not take, but it's took, right? A bath. No, no. In this case, is my daughter bath her cat, right? Mm -hmm. My husband. Well, this is a woman. I suppose my husband worked all day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, simple past tense with regular. Uh, Suli says, but we have a link. Sorry, Sully, but we don't have time to, to check the link, right? Simple past statement with regular. Carolina, okay, again, Carolina. I watched a movie on Sunday. Ah, capital letter, that's nice. I didn't study in the morning. I exercised. I exercised last week. I didn't shop last Monday. Notice that when I when I use the auxiliary, the verb is in the simple present form, right? Now again, weekend I well on weekend maybe on weekend I had a busy well maybe a race, right? Eliminemos aquí weekend. Entonces, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Uh huh. 
I had to work on Saturday and I had other activities. Good. Abel, that's nice. Excellent, Abel, congratulations to you too. I did my work yesterday. I didn't do my homework yesterday. Abel, you have to do your homework. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Now, I played football last Sunday. Okay. And Vicky, well, I don't know if Vicky is from the group, but she says, I visited my grandmother and I didn't watch TV. I noticed that uh, in some of the examples you were using um, regular verbs and irregular verbs. That's okay. The idea is to practice, right? Good. Now we're going to, we're going to make a practice. Please, I need to open the camera, right? Open the camera. Open the cameras, please. Thank you very much. Now, uh, I understand only Lorena. Lorena has, you still have problem with the microphone, right, Lorena? How do you feel today? Como si yo, Lorena? You're better? Uh, se le oye bien lejos, Lorena. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ese micrófono, si quiere nos manda un mensaje al chat. Para que... <laughs> Sorry. No. Sorry, sorry, Lorena. A mesa, un mensajito ahí al chat. Lo vamos a leer, ¿ok? Ok. Uh, good. Tengo un mensaje de Víctor que va a casita ahorita, dice, para conectarse a la clase. Ok. Good. Now, so we're going to do something, right? Vamos a castigar a los que no tienen su, su, su video encendido, ¿ok? Now, let me see. We're going to do something. You are going to make a sentence in simple past, and the other student is going to make this sentence in negative, okay? Good, I'm going to start with Josue, right? Josue, you make a sentence in simple past with regular verb, right, Josue? Okay. Any song, any song. Um, I played soccer yesterday. Okie dokie. Now, Victor, Victor va de camino, dice, no. Eh, Luis, Luis Carranza, right? Now change the sentence of Josué into negative. Okay? I don't, no le escuché, teacher. Okay, listen. Josué, repeat, repeat the sentence, Josué. I played soccer yesterday. Ajá, Luis. I played soccer. Eso le yesterday. escuché, I played soccer. Ajá, that's okay, that's yesterday. correct. But ah, okay. he I said, I played, I... I played. Now you change it into negative, Luis. I don't play soccer yesterday. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't. I, yeah, sorry, sorry. I didn't play soccer. Excellent. Thank you. Now, uh, Juan Alfonso, one example of a simple pass uh, sentence, right? Statement. Repeat, teacher, please. I need you give me one example, example of one sentence in simple past. Affirmative, affirmative. Understand, Juan Alfonso? Yes. Okay, good. Do it, please. Juan Alfonso is thinking in the example, right? <laughs> Ready? The night student. Okay, I will help you, Juan. The very study, right? So you have to say, I studied. I studied. Uh huh. When? A student. Uh -huh. I studied. Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, I studied yesterday. Now, Billy, Billy, se me hace que Billy no ha ordenado el cuarto, pero no quiere encender la cámara, right? <laughs> okay, Hi. Billy. Hi, now, teacher. you're going to change, Billy, the sentence of Juan Alfonso into negative, right, Billy? 
I didn't student. I didn't student. Uh, study. Study for yesterday. Yesterday, good. So I didn't study yesterday. Affirmative. Okay. I studied yesterday. Juan Alfonso say and Billy say I didn't study. Okay. Okay. Now, thank you, Billy. Thank you, Juan Alfonso. Okay. Now, please, Wendy. Wendy Cardona. I need one example, Wendy, for uh, simple pass, right? Simple pass, affirmative. Wendy? Okay, then, se le fue la señal a Wendy, okay. So, uh, let me see. Mm, Monica, Monica, please. You give me one example, oh, okay. <laughs> give me one example, Monica. Um, I didn't. No, no, affirmative, affirmative. Um, I, I like, I like drink coffee. Uh-huh, very good. I like, I like to drink coffee, right? Okay. I like to drink coffee. That's okay. But Thank listen to me. Uh, normally, Monica, like is used only in the simple present, normally, right? You can use it in the past, no problem, right? Uh, but in this case, it means that you don't do now, right? Quiere decir que ahora ya no le gusta. So listen in Spanish. Me gustaba tomar café, right? Quiere decir que ahora ya no le gusta, right? Okay, that's the only situation. Now, let me see who's going to help me. Cindy, please, Cindy Alvarez. Help me, Cindy. I need you change the sentence of Monica, Cindy, into negative. Negative, right? Um, ¿cuál era la... I liked to drink coffee. I liked to drink coffee. Yes. I like... In negative, right, Cindy? In, in negative. Uh -huh. Y vamos a usar el did. Didn't, yes, yes, right. Didn't. I did not uh -huh. like uh -huh. um, green coffee. To drink, to drink coffee, okay. That's it, right? Congratulations. Now we have some messages. Tenemos algunos mensajes en el chat, lo vamos a leer. Victor eh, dice que va llegando a su casa. Luis tiene problemas con su cámara. Está bien, lo entendemos. Uh, Víctor uh, tampoco tiene problemas con su cámara, ¿verdad? Ok, le vamos a creer, vamos a pensar que está bien arreglado el cuarto, <ríe> pero que tienen problemas. Lorena nos dice que estuvo trabajando el viernes, sí, Lorena. Esperamos que estés mejor de salud ahora, Lorena, y que pues ni modo, hay que arreglar ese micrófono, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you, Lorena, and thank you to the messages. Now, Let's continue with the review. Uh, let's go to the to the knowledge check, right? Laboratory. Laboratory. Let me see. Knowledge check, right? I want to explain. Okay, listen, please. This you have to do it by yourself, right? Esto tienen que hacerlo ustedes solitos en la plataforma. Me están comunicando en la oficina que por favor los motive, los anime a que por favor completen los ejercicios en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, hasta este momento ya tenemos que haber terminado tres secciones. Si no las han terminado, no se preocupen, todavía podemos seguir trabajando. Pero eh, auxílense del teacher. Ahí estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí pregúntenme lo que quieran, ¿verdad? Trato de contestar lo más rápido que pueda, pero... Si sí, a veces me tardo un poquito porque estoy en otra clase, pero ahí estoy a sus órdenes. Así que por favor, trabajemos. Eh, ya ahí llevan las estadísticas en la oficina y se han dado cuenta que todavía faltan algunos, ¿verdad? Así que obviamente no voy a decir nombres, ¿verdad? ¿Ver ¿Verdad, Billy? Ah, no, no, broma, Billy se está trabajando. Ok, so, eh, voy a explicar cómo hacer el ejercicio y ustedes lo hacen en casita después. Y mañana, 
si podemos, pues vamos a tratar de hacerlo todos juntos. Okay. Continue, please. Eh, Mónica, please, do you have a question? ¿Tiene una pregunta, Mónica? Sí, teacher, yo tengo problemas en la parte de la plataforma para, para hacer los uh -huh. comentarios. Dígame, es a ah, los comentarios en los videos. ¿Sí? Sí, sí. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, usted no sí. usted quisiera aparecer ahí. Mónica Monterrosa escribió esto, ¿verdad? Ok. Este, correcto, correcto. Le voy a mandar los, los, los números telefónicos de los compañeros del área técnica, porque solo ellos pueden resolver eso, ¿verdad? Este, ahí aparece. Porque yo el... lo que he hecho, como los, los espacios hay que rellenarlos, los relleno con el comentario. No, no, está bien, pero, pero ya no le aparece, ¿verdad? Cuando no, yo leo los comentarios, no aparece usted, ¿verdad? No, no, no. No, sí, está, está raro eso. Entonces, este, usted está en el WhatsApp. ¿Cómo aparece en el WhatsApp, Mónica? Mónica Monterrosa. Ahí dice, ¿verdad? Su nombre, va. Entonces, sí, yo le voy a mandar sí. los números telefónicos de los compañeros del área técnica. Ahí están en el grupo, ¿verdad? Unos mensajitos atrás, pero igual yo se los voy a reenviar. Aquí vamos a Excelente, anotar. gracias, teacher. Enviar números a Mónica. Ok. Any other? Another commentary? Por ahí hay otro comentario también. Give me a second. Ok. Vamos a ver, dice. Uh, Trabajó el viernes. Gracias, teacher. Espero. Este era como ejemplo. Ah, I'm sorry. Es cierto, se estaba pidiendo ejemplo, ¿verdad? Entonces Lorena nos mandó un ejemplo porque el, el micrófono no le sirve. I worked on Friday. Yo pensé que estaba hablando de, de ella, pero sí, no es un ejemplo. Es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Thank you, Lorena. Thank you very much. Now let's continue. Otro mensajito. Sorry. Ah, thank you, say Lorena. Okay, thank you, Lorena, for your example. Now, change the verb in parentheses to complete the story, right? So the only thing you have to do is to add ed to the verb. For example, wait. And remember the rule, right? Hay que acordarnos de las reglas. Si el, la mayoría de verbos, el 90% de los verbos, solo le vamos a agregar ed. Okay? Aquí, por ejemplo, vamos a ver... Uh, Solo le agregamos a D, e, D o hay que agregarle algo más. ¿Qué creen ustedes? Wait. Sol, solo E, D, teacher. Only E, D, right? Simple like that, right? And then you, oh, put, oh. Then you add the verb E, D, with e, D right? Good. Uh, lo que sí no sé es si hay que poner solo el verbo. Alicia, usted ya hizo este ejercicio. Yes, teacher. Only yes. verb. Only the verb. Okay, yes. not, not the full sentence, only the verb, right? Okay, thank you very much. So only copy the verb now. No call. Thank you, Alicia, thank you. No call. So in this case, you have to use the negative, right? Didn't. Didn't. And the verb doesn't change. The verb doesn't change. El verbo no lo cambien. Only copy didn't, right? And then the verb. Um, en el caso... Yes. En el caso de las negativas... No, a mí me costó porque yo lo ponía abreviado y entonces me obligó a poner did not call. Ah, ok. Thank you. Good advice. Un buen consejo. Oigan, chicos, eh, en este caso, la plataforma como que no acepta la contracción, ¿verdad? No es siempre, pero digamos en este ejercicio, prueben como dice Alicia, eh, sin la contracción. Solo did not. ¿Qué? Es que es, 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 como, es, por el, es por el signo, teacher, porque ah, okay. yo igual lo copié, pegué el, el apóstrofe y ahí sí me lo tomó, porque yo estaba intentando poner el apóstrofe de mi, de mi teclado, uh -huh. pero no me lo aceptaba, entonces lo copié y pegué el apóstrofe y ahí sí me lo, me lo tomó. Ok, porque en mi uh -huh. computadora, en mi computadora, no sé dónde ustedes, el apóstrofe está a la parte del cero, ¿verdad? Lo que pasa Ajá. es que hay... Hay en la mayoría de computadoras eh, dos tipos de comillas, ¿verdad? Una doble comilla, así, que está en el 2, en mi, en mi, ¿verdad? Y en otras computadoras está una comilla simple. Pero la comilla es como, no sé, como, así como ganchito, ¿verdad? 
y el apóstrofe un poco más, más rectecito, ¿sí? Entonces ahí fíjense, si prueben con, si les aparece en su computadora, prueben con los apóstrofes, ¿verdad? Porque siempre vamos a seguir haciendo ejercicios con ese apóstrofe, así que hay que encontrarle la clave ahí a su teclado, ¿ok? Ok, thank you, thank you. No les continúo. O si no, pues hagan como dice Alicia, ¿verdad? Sin, sin apóstrofe, así, did not, right? Para que no tengan problema. Now watch, visit, listen, cook. And again, in negative, right? In negative, right? Again, study, negative, shop, right? Aquí sí vamos a aplicar una regla diferente. A ver quién se acuerda. Abel, please help me, Abel. ¿Cuál era la regla, Abel? Is double P. Double P, because we have con, thank you, Abel. Consonant, vowel, consonant, right? So we said, consonant, yeah. we have to double the last consonant. In this case, P, right? P, P, E, D, right? Okay, that's it, right? Do it, please, do it. Háganlo, por favor, en la plataforma. Hacerlo en la plataforma, please. Okay. Now we're going to go to the PowerPoint presentation. To the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, we are going to review the PowerPoint presentation of yesterday. And we're going to practice only the intonation. The intonation of yes, no question, and information question, right? Can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla acá? Yes, okay, thank you, thank you very much. Yes, no. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, yes, no question, listen to this. And I will exaggerate the, the intonation. Are you a student? Yes. Are you a student? I will make a sound, listen. Are you a student? Imagine a plane, right? Are you a student? Can you speak English? Up, right? Hacia arriba. Do you live in San Salvador? Do you live in San Salvador? Up, right? Up. Now, information question. Information question are the opposite. Down. So we say, where is my pencil? What can you do? Sorry. Let me see. Vamos a mover aquí. Okay. When can you come? So, the intonation of yes, no question is up. And the intonation and information of the no question is down. Up and down. Up and down, right? Up, yes, no question. Down, information question. Now, let's practice the, sorry, the yes, no question with, uh, with do, right? Do you like pizza? Does she live in Metapan? Information question. Where do they go on weekends? What does he like to eat? Okay, good, now, volunteers. Volunteers, let me see. I will find my, my own volunteers. Let me see. Um, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Now, I need you to repeat the yes, no question, please. And, Claudia, I need you exaggerate, exaggeration of the intonation, okay? I will say, and you repeat. Do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? Excellent, my goodness, thank you. Good pronunciation. So the intonation is up, right? Now, Josue, Josue, please. Repeat, Josue. Does she like, no, sorry, does she live in Metapan? Does she live in Metapan? Okay, okay, okay. 
se quedó como el 7.5 ahí, Josué, de, de energía, pero sí, está bien, lo hizo bien. Ok, so it's up, right? Now, Luis, the information question, right, Luis? Listen yes, and sir. repeat. Where do they, sorry, go, is it? sorry. Okay, again, where do they go on weekends? Where do they go on, on weekends? Okay, go, go, go. Again, where do yes. they go on weekends? Where do they go on weekends? Thank you. Nice. Now, let me see. Um, Victor. Victor, me imagino que llegó a casita, ¿verdad, Victor? Yes, teacher. Ya estamos en casita. Okay, good. What does he like to eat? What does he like to eat? Excellent. Good pronunciation. Thank you very much, right? Okay. After this presentation, we're going to see an exercise to practice the pronunciation of yes, no question, and information question. But yesterday, we were practicing with this, right? Este es el trabajo que hicimos en grupo. Así que lo vamos a hacer como repaso, right? Yes, no question. Listen. Ah, I'm talking about my brother, right? So, does... Does your brother, does your brother drink coffee? Does your brother drink coffee? No, he doesn't. My brother drinks tea, right? Drink because we use the auxiliary. And he drinks because he's in affirmative, right? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let me see who's going to help me. Eh, Rolando, ¿cómo estamos ahí de la... ¿Puede? I, I feel... Oh, you feel better. Okay, now. I Number feel better. Two. Rolando. What is the question in number two? Eh... Do or does? It does. Mm. Como respondemos con we, la pregunta sería you, ¿verdad? Mm. Okay. Do you? Solo regáleme el verbo, Rolando. How? How? Thank you. Do you have children? No, we don't, right? And then my parents. In this case, is they, right? So we use what? Let me see. Uh, let's see. Vamos a ver aquí. No hemos preguntado todavía. Catherine, please. Catherine, play test. Number three, Catherine, do or, de, or does? Uh, do. Do my parents? ¿Cuál es el verbo, Catherine? Live. Live, right? Live. Thank you. Do my parents live in San Salvador? No, my parents live in San Miguel. Okay, good. Number four, uh, Cindy, please. My does. son speaks speaks it very well, is that right? Does. Si la respuesta es my son, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? Your? Your, Cindy? ¿Qué le vamos a echar? La Your son, right? Tu hijo. Yo respondo mi hijo, right? Okay, then... Regáleme el verbo, Cindy. Speak. Speak, thank you. Does your son speak English? Okay. So speak because we use the auxiliary, right? But then, luego lo ponemos con S, speaks. Now let's practice the pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. And remember the intonation is up, right? Up. Repeat after me. Does your brother drink coffee? Number two, pay attention in the pronunciation. Do you have children? Do my parents live in San Salvador? Does your son speak English? Okie dokie, now let's go to the information question, right? 
Now, let me see. Uh, number one, Carolina, help me, please. Yes, teacher. Sí. Tengo que decirle si es tiene do o da. Tiene que decir what. Ah, perdón. Where, when. Uh -huh. Porque la respuesta es he's a doctor. Entonces es una ocupación. Esa, uh, what, what is the question? Sorry? What? 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 Do or does, Carolina? Does. Does. This is the auxiliary, right? Yes. Your and father. now the verb, ¿cuál sería el verbo? Y, uh, the, sorry? No sé. I don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Okay. What does uh, your father? Your, your father. father. No, no sé. Does Joe. your father do? Thank you, thank you. Por ahí do. Do, right? ¿Qué es do. lo que hace tu papá? What does your okay. father do? He's a doctor, right? Okay. Are your brothers. Eh, Ana María, no me ha participado Ana María, sí So, they live in Santa Ana Hello, hello Is Ana María yes. Santa Ana is what, when or where Where Where, correct Where do or where does Where do Where do, porque brothers es plural No okay. Yes, correct, yes and what is the verb? What is the verb? Sorry? Live. 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 Excellent. Where do your brothers live? Donde viven sus hermanos? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, number three. Uh, Abel, please. Help me, Abel. Hello. Help me with uh, number three. What, when, or where? Is when? When, correct, right? When do or when does? Do. Let me see. When do. Porque aquí contesto con I, entonces tendría que ser you, ¿verdad? When do you? Yes. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Visit. Visit. When do you visit your parents? No. When do you visit your parents? Right? Okay, good. Now, the last one. Noemi, please tell me. Yes, teacher. Está bonito el fondo de Bob Esponja que tiene ahí, Noemi. That's nice. Excuse me, okay. teacher. Excellent. Okay, now. Uh, she lives next to my house. Uh, what, when, or where, Noemi? Um, where? Where, right? Where? where do mm, your sister? Where do your sister? Your do sisters do or does? Do. Do. Mm. Does. Ah, because your sister is a woman. It's a she, right? Where does okay. your sister? ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Lives. Live. Live or lives? Live. Live only, right? Good, thank you. Now, repeat after me, everybody. What, listen, in this case, the, the intonation is, okay, now. What does your father do? Where do your brothers live? When do you visit your parents? Where does your sister live? So, falling, right, intonation. Now, let's go to the video. Ahora sí vamos al video. Let me see. Uh, just give me a second. Here, right? Oops. Sorry. Um, simple person meeting. Here, right? Okay, listen, please. 
amazed. Announcement: Simple past verbs. The ed ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t. Worked. When pronouncing simple past verbs, the ed ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts: voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a t and a d sound. For example, visit has a t sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has d sound. So we pronounce the past. As landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following these particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H. T H S S C X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs, and then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this. Okay. Now listen to me, please. I made a little mistake. Eh, parece que me equivoqué con la presentación del PowerPoint. <laughs> Era otro PowerPoint que les iba a presentar. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Ya casi se termina la clase. Les voy a pasar este PowerPoint mañana como repaso. ¿Ok? Estamos en el pasado simple y me pasé a las information and yes, no question, ¿verdad? 
Eh, y vamos a practicar el, en el PowerPoint estos sonidos. Listen. With regular verbs, we have three sounds, right? Eh, de acuerdo a este verbo, a este video, perdón, tenemos eh, tres pronunciaciones de los verbos, right? The. And e, right? Three pronunciation, right? Okay. So in this case, uh, these are with regular verbs. Now we're going to practice this tomorrow. Vamos a seguir practicando estas pronunciaciones. ¿Va? Mañana y luego vamos a pasar a los verbos irregulares. Irregular verbs, right? Irregular verbs. Uh, tenemos que aprendernos muchas reglas. Aquí solo la, medio las vimos, pero mañana vamos a ir las viendo una por una. One by one. One by one. Si gustan también, eh, esta noche o mañana les voy a hacer llegar este, el PowerPoint presentation que, que les iba a presentar ahora. <risa> pero eh, siempre lo vamos a repasar mañana juntos. ¿Ok? Así que no se preocupen, que esto, esta regla está un poquito complicada, pero la vamos a ver lentamente hasta que todos la, la entendamos. Ya vimos las reglas de, de letreo, spelling. Ahora vamos a ver las reglas de pronunciación. ¿Ok? Y luego vamos a pasar, como les dije, a los verbos irregulares. En simple past. Everything is simple past. Right? Todo es pasado simple. ¿Ok? Good. Any extra question? ¿Algún comentario extra? Teacher. Yes, tell me, Rolando. Una pregunta. Este, eh, yo estaba haciendo un ejercicio, creo que es el, dos pun, el del 2.7 de mm -hmm. la sección 4. Sí. La, la 4.7. 4.7. Creo sí. que esa es. La hago en el grupo. Eh, que, lo, lo, el consejo suyo, ¿verdad? ¿lo hago en el grupo o lo hago personal a su WhatsApp? Porque. Ah, bueno. Hay, Ay, hoy, ah, ah, perdón, este, me auxilié con un compañero que es full inglés, vea, oh. pero no, o sea, no le hallamos a un, a una no le hallé, sí, me, este, topé, ya, pues, topé. Aquí el, el, el 4.7, lo voy a revisar, si es ese, yo le hago saber eh, cómo hacerlo, ¿verdad? O si no, usted me escribe, si no lo... a mí. Ok, ok, Ahora, gracias. Thank cuando you. ustedes me escriben al WhatsApp en el grupo, yo no doy la respuesta, ¿verdad? Bueno, tampoco personal, pero cuando me escriben personal, así como que ya la última, pues ni modo. Pero eh, sí me gustaría un poquito más en el grupo, Rolando, para que los demás, ¿verdad? Sí. También capten, ¿verdad? Eh, la idea. Sí, eh, eh, le digo porque le quería mandar unas, eh, unas 120... Eh, verbos que había sacado en, en, en pasado ¿ve? y ahí me estaba ayudando esa, como plana pues. Ajá, y, y creo eran que no verbos regulares a todos. Rolando, eran verbos regulares o verbos irregulares regulares regulares ah ok sí. bueno ya vimos este, uno acá verdad esa... pero si usted nos manda ese listado para que practiquemos perfecto ¿Ya? sí nos va a servir Thank a todos entonces sí, sí okay. compártalo <risa> y en el 4.7 lo vamos a revisar para trabajarlo juntos ok Ok. Ok, thank you, Rolando. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta más? No, ok. Thank you very much. Have a good night. God bless you. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night.